thanking Yuka Nakayama for the wonderful job she's done here and for her incredible patience with working with me on this project. And this is a project started that I applied for a grant with the Bascom Little Fund to fund the recording of a CD. And I did get the grant, and that grant was matched by a grant from the uh, Kent State University Research Council. And with this money, we were able to have four recording sessions uh, to record all of these piano pieces that I have written over the years, and I'll explain a little bit what they are. And we had four, I think, five-hour sessions, about no, four, three to five-hour sessions to record 50 minutes of music. So it was pretty intense. And Yuka was absolutely amazing and very patient. Probably the worst combination is to have the composer there trying to decide how the music should sound like during the recording. And, but Yuka was incredibly... So a little bit of the history of these pieces. So the first uh, group of pieces, these pieces were all composed. Uh, the first two pieces were composed for Brahms Allegro. Brahms Allegro is a, associate, a junior associate musical club in Akron and they asked me to write pieces for their students. So I actually met with these students ahead of time. They kind of told me what kind of music they wanted, and I wrote music that would fit, first of all, their technical ability and their musical interest. And for example, the first piece is called Call of the Feathers. I'll explain the pieces later. And sorry, I obviously don't have a script here. And so I would say, yeah, so the first piece actually is Call of the Feather. Sorry, my daughter's laughing at me because I'm doing a bad job, and she'll tell me later. Uh, uh, Call of the Feathers was a piece that this young lady, uh, Lillian, jo Lillian Johnson, asked. And she had simple requirements. She wanted the piece to be in B flat, and she wanted it to be titled Call of the Feathers. Whatever that means, that's what it was called. And that's the piece that comes out. And following that is a piece called Separations and we'll play both pieces in a row. And Separations was another piece that was written for Brahms Allegro. So please join me in welcoming Yuka Nakayama.
couple more words for me. Okay, so the next four sets of pieces are all pieces that were commissioned by uh, uh, an organization in Cleveland called the Cleveland Composers Guild. And they have this project every year where they pair a composer with a young student and the composer specifically writes a piece for them. And for these four pieces, I was paired up with a pianist. And here the technical bar is going up little by little. And actually, the procedure I did for actually all of these pieces is instead of just writing one piece for the student and maybe finding out that that wasn't really the right piece for them, I don't know, I'm kind of just crazy. And I would write four pieces, three or four pieces for them, and let them pick which ones to play. And so they, usually the students only played one of each one of these pieces, but then Yuka gets to play all of them. And so the first piece is, it's called the Lake Erie Suite, and it was kind of inspired by, you know, visions and pictures I had. I have, uh, you know, Lake Erie, so it's like Lake Erie with the, it's kind of pretty obvious, you know. Lake Erie, the sunrise over Lake Erie is really beautiful. I used to live in Cleveland and could see that. And then the blizzard over Lake Erie, I don't know if anybody's seen that. It's usually pretty blue, brutal, and Yukon makes it especially brutal. And then, you know, the winter and waves, the waves over, and so, thank you.
You can see the piano technical difficulty is rising. So again, one of the goals of writing these pieces is to have the young pianist uh, give them the opportunity to play things that they normally don't play. So again, you know, you expect piano students, you know, now that you're studying all your Bach, all your Mozart, your romantic pieces and everything, and there's only a certain repertoire of technical items that are covered. And so the goal of these pieces is to try to incorporate things that they usually don't see. Uh, one of them is that you, most of these pieces are in like meters that are not very standard. Uh, you know, the previous, piece, the previous couple of pieces were mostly in five. This one, uh, that very fast piece, the, the impressive fast piece. Uh, it's actually, if you think of it, I don't know if anybody's familiar with Hannon. It's, the idea was only inspired by a Hannon, but in five. So instead of doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And that was kind of the idea that started that off. Okay, so moving on, the next one, the next one, and then this was this piece we just heard, the Lake Erie Suite was written in 2020, and the next one is from 2021. And this one's called the Animal Suite, and it was all inspired, every movement was inspired kind of by different different animals. Uh, and I think the titles are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, in this one, there's especially two movements that are really based on dance movements. The second one is a tango, or at least my interpretation of a tango. And the last one is a waltz. And the, the waltz are actually, originally it was called the circus, circus horses. But then we kind of feel that since nowadays circuses don't have horses anymore, I changed the title to Circus Menagerie. So, <laughs> thank you.
next one. The next one is called the Toy Suite. And actually, that might be one of my pieces that's been played the most. I've been very fortunate that there's a young pianist, young Japanese pianist, called Saya Ujima, who's actually performed this piece quite a bit, both in America and in Japan. So it's been a real honor. And I also have to acknowledge my daughter Aika for helping me come up with the titles, because I knew I wanted it to be about toys and mechanical things. And she actually helped me, and now she's going to be mad at me that I mentioned that she helped me with the titles. And so again, you know, we're kind of on the same thing. You might have noticed that there's a pattern. If you open up lots of pages, it's going to be fast and difficult. And if there are fewer pages, it's a little bit less hard. And this one, again, is kind of similar. It starts off with something tricky, then it's slowed down. And then there's a really fast and aggressive piece at the end, which is the toy stampede. Thank you.
next one is actually the, mo uh, it's the most recent piece. It was actually just finished uh, literally quite a, just a few weeks ago. And this is the first time any of these pieces are going to be heard. And again, it's a movement in three, it's in three movements. You know, there's a faster movement, a slow movement, and a fast movement. And the first movement is all based on fives. And I know some of my students have heard me that you can play around with fives or different rhythms in a whole bunch of different ways. And this one is really experimenting with probably every possible combination of groupings of five. So you can count your five, one and two and three and four and five, or one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So see if you can count all of them in there. Thank you. <laughs>
last piece is actually the oldest piece, and this piece was written, I don't know if anybody remembers, but uh, quite a, a few years ago, uh, the Canton Museum of Art had a show about kimonos. And Keiko Sato, who teaches piano here as well, um, she asked me, she was the accompanist for the choir, and she asked me to write a piece specifically for this, and she suggested a Japanese folk song called Hanagaso Ondo. And she gave me this song, and she asked me to write something about it, and she didn't expect, she thought I, I was going to just write a little one minute thing on the folk song, and instead I wrote this kind of complicated thing. And too many notes. And anyways, hopefully you'll enjoy it. And um, let's thank you ahead of time.
recording process and then the making music together with um, Sebastian it was uh, really fun. The, uh, it's uh, you know like a, um, when you are playing the piano, you never get to actually meet the composer. You know, you just dead. Composers are dead. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a living composer and then actually my friend as well. So like uh, we had we meet. Um, every week in the past month or so to get ready for the recording and get some, you know, his idea uh, what he's meant to, you know, like what kind of music um, on top of my interpretation as well. And it was a very fun experience, you know, like uh, we always have like an Im uh, imagination of uh, uh, music in your head, but when it comes to actually playing, um, you find a, a little difficulty or something that he says one thing and I change and he said different opposite thing next time. And, oh. <laughs> it was a quite fun experience that uh, I, um, I was uh, very, um, uh, I feel honored to oh, do this project honor. for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate your patience. It's, like, it's so tricky because, you know, of course I wrote the pieces so I kind of have the imagery. And, and then especially, you know, I, it took me like a while to figure out what was the right process. I and mean, here I can share with you what I think is the right process. And instead of me trying to explain to you the details of how to play stuff, which I absolutely should not be telling you how to play the piano, I should be telling you just something in general of the idea of what I want and let her do it her way, which always comes out the best way. You know, when I tried to micromanage, it was, I, I was not doing a good job. Don't micromanage, just give the general picture. And you always did a fantastic, fantastic job. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. The, yeah, um, thanks so much for coming. Uh, preparation was hard, especially having the two younger kids at home. <laughs> but I did it! <laughs> thanks so much for coming.